I don't know what to talk about. It's really stressing me out. <laughs> yep, that's obnoxious. And Dot, of course, is licking her paw right behind the camera. And so that's a thing. Sometimes the hardest thing when making a video is actually just getting it started. How to introduce the video. How to just start talking to a camera. It all feels a little awkward sometimes. So Brian and I are going up to Minnesota for 11 days. We're leaving really soon. We're gonna try to drive up in two days to optimize our time up there. So I'm packing. I've got Beam's cage in the back there with his little bag of goodies. And because everybody's going, the whole family, I have a basket of all of my knitting. This is my current project and then a project that I have planned. And I don't know if I'm gonna actually travel with this basket because it's a little bit bulky, but this is the basket where I keep all of my knitting projects in. I think I'll probably move that to a canvas bag. Not that you need to know that, but there you go. Sorry, I'm just in a weird mood. Uh, I have, pro I'm probably going to bring this little binder of knitting projects because I'm going to be starting a new one while we're up there. It's this one here, which is an arm warmer and hat set and I already have the yarn for it and that's really exciting. I'm currently working on a cowl, which is hmm, maybe like three fourths of the way done. It's a really long neck cowl, but it will be nice and fluffy and warm. This is a yak fiber and so far so good. I mean, it's a boring, it's kind of a boring knit, but I've actually been really enjoying it. And I know it will be very, very wearable. I will of course be bringing a journal and I will be bringing a spare journal because I'm very near the, the end of my current one. So I have this little Delphonics utility pouch that is packed full of journaling and art supplies that I want to bring up with me. I have my little mini printer. I have a little tin of watercolors. I have a pencil tin in the back here and a pair of scissors. I have an extra uni ball 1P because that's a thing and I like them even though I complain. Even though I'm really struggling with the amount of ink that I get in a refill, uh, I still really like the pen and so I'm just gonna use them for now while I'm inspired because I know it will pass Something new and shiny will be released and I will probably want that instead or I'll go back to one of my trusty rusty pens. <laughs> I am going to be bringing up my five year journal. I have a little pack of different sized watercolor papers. I have the extra journal, which I've already kind of laid out because I've been, I feel the sneeze coming on. Bless me. Allergies, oh, they've been really bad this year. I have a journal that's already set up a little bit with kind of a blank layout for my month at a glance. And I have been doing three months at a glance in the, at the beginning of all of my journals lately because I always have my journal with me at all times. And while I do also have a phone, I've never used the phone agenda and I don't have an interest in using the phone agenda. So I could just write down important things as they come up and then every once in a while transfer them over to my Hobonichi Weeks, which is just really cute. And this is my first time with the cover on cover. I feel kind of uh, like a an official Hobonichi user now, even though I've been using the Weeks for many years now. Like, well, yeah, since 2019, I think is the first year that I went with the, the weeks, but I've never used the cover on cover. Honestly, the plastic didn't appeal to me. Now I understand <laughs> that it can be handy and it's nice to have a pen loop. So that's some important information in my life that I'm sure is real exciting to hear about. I will also be bringing up this. Does anybody remember this Euroleco pouch? At one point in its life, it was holding my planner, but now it is actually holding something different, completely different, and that is a Nintendo Switch. So this is a 
Nintendo Switch Lite, to be more specific. I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley on it lately, although I do want to play the new Zelda. I just haven't mentally arrived there because it feels like it's going to require more of my attention. And Stardew is pretty easy to pick up and leave behind randomly, sporadically. I also have kind of a ridiculous book list that I don't know why I should be traveling with all of these books. <laughs> this is a book that my friend just lent me. Uh, her and her son read it together. They've read, I think, the whole series now at this point. And it just sounds really fun and really sweet. And I love a mystery. And even if it's a book meant for kids, I think I will really enjoy this. So I kind of want to just read that. Uh, this is also a book that I just picked up at the thrift, the book used bookstore. It looked interesting, The Murder of Helen Jewett, although it looks a lot denser. I also picked this up at Goodwill, and I hate how big this book is. It drives me nuts. I don't like when they are monstrous because like I like to read in bed and it's just it's just not comfortable. I also like to carry my books with me in my purse so that I can read them when I'm out and about and I'm like having to wait for whatever reason. This can't fit in a purse. I have to carry a backpack just to accommodate this book. But it sounds really interesting because it's loosely about the history of Dracula in a fictionalized world. And Dracula is definitely one of my favorite novels of all times. And I just think it would be really fun to kind of dabble a little bit in that world loosely. And then this one I found in uh, San Clemente, I think it was, in California. There was like a little library and it was give us a dollar and take any book you want and the dollar will go to our public library. And this was in there and it sounds fun and funny. It's a mystery, it's a humorous mystery. And I think this is going to be the book that Brian and I read to each other in the car because we have 27 hours to drive. Maybe I said that already. That's a lot of hours. So this is my little toiletry bag. I love how nice and compact it is. It's like really makes me happy that everything can fit in there. And I always keep it ready so that I don't even have to think about those things. I could just grab it and go. This is going to be a pack for cords. I already have some cords in there, but I'll need like my switch cord and my phone cord, but I'm still using those things right now. So I won't be packing that yet until we leave. We're going to take some games. So this is a game called Wizard, which a friend of ours just shared with us and it was so much fun. So now we have our own deck and then we have a double deck of cards in here and some dice. We play a game called 10,000 or box cars. And then we play a game called roulette with two card decks, just regular card decks. And so those are, that's our little card, our little game pouch. I will be taking my binoculars. Brian and I like to go birding. That's a big part of our, of our outdoor time. And he's, He's really good at birding. I'm learning and he's great to have <laughs> to help teach me uh, when we go out and about. But these are such a great binocular because I have never liked carrying binoculars because they're bulky and they're heavy and it just feels like such a pain in the butt when you're going hiking and it's just like flapping around. These have been perfect because I can see really well through them. They're very clear. It's a really phenomenal image and I can also see up close which is really nice for herping so I can look at lizards without disturbing them or or fish or moths just or plants I can stand in one spot and look at all these little things without disturbing them which is really nice they're small and they're light and Brian is a little bit jealous because his binoculars are a lot bigger and a lot heavier <laughs> I really love that I can take only two shoes with me on a trip. That's like, makes me so happy. I'm just gonna pull off one of them right now. One of the shoes is a pair of these Blundstones. This is like, these are the shoes that I wear the most. They're pretty beat up. I'm pretty rough on my shoe, but I love these because they go stylistically with 
most of my wardrobe. They also are super, super comfortable. I can walk miles and miles and miles in them, and that's city miles or hiking miles. So they work really well for both. Super steep terrain is not ideal just because you don't have anything to keep your toes in place. So when you're going down a really steep slope, your toes do press up against the, the toe box there, which is not ideal. But if it's just a little bit, then totally doable. They're not they're also not super, super grippy, but they're so comfortable. I could do most things in them. And so that is the shoe of choice almost always. <laughs> the other shoe that I really like that I feel like I can do a lot in are these bedrock sandals. I did a review on them mm, last summer or two summers ago. They're, they're really nice. They, I think they actually look, they're pretty, they look nice stylistically. They're comfortable. I can walk in water in these and the, the footbed is really grippy and my feet don't slip around, which is great, especially like if we're gonna go boating and spend some time in the water, these will be really nice to have. I will say that the, the texture that makes them really nice and grippy when your foot is wet is also kind of a drawback when it's dry because it just, it feels very drying on my feet. So I don't, I don't like wearing them for days at a time because then my feet just feel like they've been sucked of all moisture, but they're super grippy. I can hike in them on tons of different terrain. Mm, like Sandy is not ideal because sand gets in there and you'd have to like fiddle with that, but it's really actually not that big of a deal. So that's nice, only two shoes. And those sandals are super minimal and I can fit them in my suitcase. My suitcase, by the way, is this Patagonia black hole. I forget how many liters this is, but it's, it is airplane friendly size. Carry on, it's like the perfect carry on size. And it has these backpack straps, which is really nice for when you're traveling around. And it has different handles all about, and it's really, really big and quite roomy. So I have all of my clothes, including my accessories and my toiletries and, you know, just a bunch of things can fit in that bag comfortably. And that's really nice. I'll be bringing my, my old felt hat, which is <laughs> seen better days, but this is the hat that I use the most. So I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video. I'm sorry that it's maybe really boring. So I'll see you when I get back or I'll do a vlog when we're up there and I will post it. So we'll see.